Hi, my name's Harry Jun. I'm a Korean Australian. Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm Singaporean and Australian. I'm Jay. I am Malaysian Chinese Australian. My name is Saint. I am a Korean Australian. And we are going to play a game called Is This Racist? Racist! Yay! You, what are you going to start? I'm going like to default red. Oh, I'm pretty cynical. I don't believe in people. When someone says to you, Ni hao. Oh. Okay. Can you explain it? Context? I think context is important. But like if like, I don't know, a relative said that to me, I don't think that's racist. Oh yeah. But if like uh, some random white person who doesn't speak any Mandarin said that to me, I'd be like, if I started to speak Mandarin back to him, I was like, well, why did you say that to me if you can't even speak Mandarin? Like, so I think a lot of people when they say Ni Hao is just trying to fit in with you and trying to like connect with you. I think most people have good intentions. I agree, like I think people are trying to like, you know, connect and all that, but for the most part, I think the ignorance of assuming that any Asian you see is Chinese is probably where the racism comes from. And I've had that said to me, not in a way of like, oh, I want to learn your culture and your language. It's more like, oh, fucking ni hao, eh, in a, in a derogatory way. So that's why I'm doing this. To Rachel's point, I, I reckon, yeah, if they're trying to genuinely connect, it's not racist. But I mean, in my personal experience, I've had people, I've told people I'm Korean and they go, ni hao. You know, uh, it, I think it's got to do with miseducation. I think uh, there needs to be a wider education on um, what other maybe heritages there are within the Asian category. Um, and also, you know, approaching someone with ni hao is probably not the best way to do it. When someone says, wow, you're really good at English. I guess it's just, um, most of the time it's just lack of education. It's mm. not so much that they are intentionally trying to be racist. They just, uh, they just don't know. What it really is for me is the condescending Nate tone of it, of like, they're, they're surprised. It's not like, it's not a compliment. You're really good at English. Like, I, I am, dude. And so that's where I get, there's a bit of an edge to it where I don't like it. And that's how I feel, I feel it's a bit racist. But at the end of the day, like, you know, it's about growing someone's understanding of like, Australia is very multicultural. So we have to then respond kindly and be like, yeah, dude, I am good. I'm better than you at English, all right? Wow, you must be really good at math. Is this racist? Why are they assuming that Asians are good at maths? It's a stereotype. Probably there's a lot of truth to it, but still a stereotype and not all Asians are good at maths. Why on the bar a little bit is because we are. We are really great at it. And um, it sucks that we have geniuses within our communities that are excelling and we are falling short. So I don't want to discourage other people of Asian heritage to discard their pride in having affinities towards the numbers. When Asians say, I only date Asians, Definition of racism is a discrimination of someone for their cultural background and stuff. I feel like that's a discrimination, like you're cutting out people of a particular culture or ethnicity. If we're defining racism as like a structural thing, a power differentiator, then technically an Asian only dating other Asians can't be racist because not the ones in power compared to white people. It gets more complex if we're talking about dating preferences. You prefer blonde girls or tall girls or this or that. But the thing is, we're talking about cutting out someone's culture. What about when a white person says like, Asians. Is this racist? Well, it's because it comes back from the history of like stereotype, yellow fever. It's a generalization of Asian women that they're going to be submissive, but also subservient and like very like, yes, master, like that kind of creepy stuff. Oh, it's just the way they look. Then again, um, you know, it could be that they have a preference for, for example, like the dark hair or the oriental. Uh, facial features. But Generally, if they're going for Asian girls, they're after that dominance. I mean, we need another paddle. We need a green paddle for misogyny, maybe, and just like <laughs> green and red makes whatever colour that fucking makes. Mate, all women are beautiful. Donald Trump. <laughs> Is this even a question? Yeah, thank you for having us, Kazakhstan. Please tune in for Kazakhstan for some wider discussions about our communities. Actually, you go, you be, I'll be racist. Bye, thank you. Bye. Cheers.